What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and what we've got right here is the second version of what I call the ultimate gamers backpack. And this is what I got from Micro Center. You guys might've seen the video where I picked this up. If not, I'll have it in the description. What is this even? Like, who really needs this? But this is the Acer Predator utility gaming backpack. So of course, I put a ton of gaming stuff and tech inside of here. So if you wanted to play any games on the go, this thing is all you need. We talk about technology a lot on this channel, but if you're interested in actually creating tech, check out Full Sail University. They offer bachelor's and master's degrees that focus on the evolving needs of the tech industry. Through hands-on accelerated degree programs, you can familiarize yourself with the same tools and technology used by industry professionals. And with degrees such as computer science, information technology, mobile development, simulation, and web development, there are so many degree programs offered to help you get started based on your interests. To learn more about Full Sail's programs, as well as potential scholarship opportunities, visit fullsail.edu slash your average consumer. But let's go through this backpack. This is a pretty big and hefty backpack. And I pretty much set this up the way I would use it. And you guys can kind of just see what this backpack is all about, all the stuff that it can carry, and just how far you can take your gaming experience with something like this. And you guys can see at the top, up here we've got this interesting protective layer. I'm not super crazy about the looks of this thing, but it is water resistant, so or waterproof. So if it rains and you know you want to protect your tech, you don't have to worry about the rain or water at all. So that's great. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the main thing, the biggest, most important thing inside of here, which is our gaming laptop. And I like starting off with the laptops first these days because there's a bunch of accessories inside of here that kind of go with it. So it kind of makes sense to start with that. And that is this guy over here our gaming laptop of choice. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love this laptop. This is the MSI GS75 Stealth. Now, what I love about this laptop is that it pretty much has everything you need. 17 inch display, very, very nice, minimal design, doesn't scream gaming laptop, 144 hertz refresh rate screen, and it of course has an Intel Core i7 processor, as well as a RTX 2080 inside of here. Gaming wise, you're gonna be able to throw whatever you want at this. Awesome, awesome gaming laptop. Definitely my favorite out of everything that I've tried. These are my go-to. And I'm gonna show you guys what else we have to kind of up the experience here. So we've got this over here. Now, there's a ton of stuff inside of here. I'm a huge console gamer at heart, so I love using a controller. I know, I know, go ahead and judge me. Uh, but this right here is the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. I've been talking about this thing a lot. I featured it in my favorite tech of the month because this thing is the best controller I've ever used, and I can say that pretty confidently. Now this thing definitely costs a pretty penny, but I can guarantee the experience is awesome with this. Being able to play Apex Legends on this with the way I'm used to playing it on my Xbox, for me, is everything. I just love the fact that I can completely customize my experience using this controller, whether I wanna add the back paddles or I wanna change the hair trigger lock so my button presses can be a bit faster or even the tension on the joystick so they move exactly the way I want. Now, it also has this case over here that you can go ahead and charge it in. And what's also nice is that the case also has all the extra add-ons. So if you wanna swap anything out on the controller, you have everything right down here. And of course, a little spot to hold like a USB cable or something. So I love this combo, this laptop with this controller, I've got no complaints. Now, let's say you don't wanna be a casual and use a controller, you're better than that, kudos to you. Uh, we do have a mouse here that I think works really well with something like this. So what I've got right here is the Corsair Iron Claw. This is a wireless gaming mouse that I, really, really has started taking a liking to. Now, it is an extremely, extremely comfortable mouse. The ergonomics are great. And you have a bunch of buttons here that you can customize. Now, something I like about this mouse is that it's pretty lightweight, but it feels really, really solid in the hands. I'm not a super hardcore gamer, so I don't need it to be wired into the computer. I'm fine with it being wireless. And it's just a bit more convenient, even if I'm not gaming, if I wanna just use it as a regular mouse, this is a lot more comfortable for me. This is a really solid mouse from Corsair. I love the fact that it can use Bluetooth or a dongle. Personally, I'm all about that Bluetooth life, uh, but definitely solid and it's worth checking out. Do you remember Ari tried to come for this mouse since he said that this thing is a tire. Yeah, tire. Thanks a lot, Ari. Still a good mouse though. But moving on from inputs and that kind of thing, 
if you wanna take your gaming really serious, maybe you play on Twitch or something, you can fit a setup right inside of here. So what we've got right here in the front it's a small little webcam. This is the Logitech Brio, I believe. So it's a 4K webcam. If you wanna use something that's better quality than what you're provided within the laptop, this is a really good buy. Not the cheapest in the world, but if you are looking for quality, and you should be if you're trying to stream and do all that stuff, I love the quality that you get out of here and how adjustable it is. So it's got the little stand that you can throw on top of the laptop, and you can even tilt it and turn it so however you wanna use it, you can do that. Definitely good. Now, you got your webcam in order, right? What about your audio though? You need good audio with your visuals. And we got a mic in here too. So what we've got over here, we pull this thing out, is a mic from HyperX. So this guy right here is the HyperX Quadcast condenser mic. Now, this is a really good sounding mic and I'll throw up a demo so you guys can hear it for yourselves. And for those of you who are curious what the HyperX sounds like, you're hearing it right now straight from the mic. This is what you get if you try to stream or do anything mic related with the HyperX. I absolutely love this thing. It fits inside of here and you guys can just tell by the look, it's heavy duty. You've got volume controls down here at the bottom. You even have some settings here in the back so that if you wanna change the way your mic is picking up your voice or what is picking up behind you, especially if you're like on the go and you want this thing to work directly like a shotgun mic so you can kinda cancel out whatever you may have going on behind you. This is gonna be a really good mic. I love the versatility here. You got mute controls at the top and it's a good looking mouse. HyperX makes some really good products, so this to me is a no brainer, uh, but streaming on the go, definitely possible. And I almost forgot to mention, this thing can even hold a mouse pad. Not a must have, but if you're going to go all out with this kind of gear, you might as well have it. I love the way this thing feels and the fact that it has like that grippy texture at the bottom. It's really good for on the go if you don't know what kind of surfaces you'll be playing on. Now we've got a lot of our laptop PC stuff out of the way. Now another big component of portable gaming is this guy right here. Well, what's inside of here? And that is the Nintendo Switch. This is the travel case that I usually take with me. It has a portable charger built inside of it. It can hold games, all that good stuff. I have a link to the video where I talk about it a bit more in depth, but what's most important is this guy. For me, this is a must have regardless of what backpack I'm using. You will always find a Nintendo Switch in everything that I'm carrying. So the Switch is a must have on the go system. And I think on the sides, we even have another one. This one's for Ari. Uh, this is the one that Ari uses. We play Pokemon together, so she's got her Switch over here. This is the Switch Lite, so it makes it really easy to put in these side compartments. Ari would rather me carry it than her, so that's why I have to dedicate a spot to it. Uh, but yeah, we've got two Switches over here for me and Ari to play Pokemon together, which doesn't happen nearly enough. Yes, Ari, I'm taking shots again. Uh, but yeah, you can fit it right inside of here. And on this side, we even have a PlayStation Vita. I can't let it go. Yes, I know this thing is pretty dead at this point, but I can still play like my original PlayStation titles on it, so I have a hard time letting it go, the nostalgia makes me keep carrying it around. But yes, these are the portable systems that I travel with. And we got a couple of things here that kind of enhance the experience. So let's see, we have strapped to this. So right here we have the Pro Controller. If you're not playing this in handheld mode, this is probably the best experience that you can get control wise. This one right here is the Xenoblade Special Edition. I spent way too many hours on that game, so this is why I have to have that version of the controller here. So this is my go-to Pro Controller. And when it comes to audio, I've got this guy right here. Now, if you've seen my last Nintendo Switch must have accessories video, you might've seen me talk about this. This is the SteelSeries Arctis One Wireless. Now, this is a solid gaming headset that you can use across pretty much any platform. What's great about this is that it has really good sound quality, isn't really expensive, and it also features, let's see here, a mic that you can add on to it. So you just throw on the mic whenever we're playing on the laptop or you're playing the Switch, it doesn't matter, you can throw it on. It also has a wireless adapter. So if I wanted to play wirelessly with the Switch, I don't have to use a cable or use the headphone jack at all. I can play wirelessly, which is so, so nice because 
you don't want something dangling while you're playing your Switch. It's just a much, much better experience. And it's pretty low key. It doesn't look like a gaming headset. Uh, well, it does, but it doesn't scream gaming headset. Looks like a pretty standard pair of headphones as well. And on the left ear cups, you have all the controls that you'd come to expect, your ways to mute it, volume controls, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I like this headset. It's very versatile. You could do a lot of things with it. You could play any system with it. Definitely a good thing to have in a backpack like this. Now, we also have a couple of other things up front. It's so interesting that we're moving completely backwards. We went from the back of the backpack to the front, which is the opposite of what we typically do. But yeah, we've also got USB-C cables, which is a must have these days. This one is from Satoshi. They've got nice thick cables that will, are very durable. You guys can see how long this is. So if you want a nice long USB cable, something to charge up your switch or just connect anything to, uh, this is a really, really strong, solid one from Satoshi and it supports fast charging and all that. So this is what we keep around. I completely made a mess of this. <laughs> now, of course, you guys know me. You know I have a portable charger in here. Uh, this one is the OmniCharge 20. Is this, what did they call this one? This is the OmniCharge 20 Plus or something? What is it, Jay? The OmniCharge Plus or 20 Plus? Whatever it is, we'll have it linked down below in the description amongst everything else featured in this video. But what I love about this portable charger is that it charges pretty much anything. You've got USB type C, you've got this little DC out so that you can use a bunch of adapters to charge a lot of different products out there. So that's available. You also have those two USB ports up front as well as a wall outlet so that if you have to charge your computer while you're playing, you can do that right from here. So no matter where you're taking this backpack, where you're planning to do your gaming, you're gonna be able to get some extra juice out of this guy. And it also has like a screen that gives you a ton of information, like how much battery you have left, how much longer it's gonna take to charge, all that kind of stuff. Really, really awesome. It even has wireless charging, whatever. It's the Omni charger. It's called that for a reason. Uh, the best portable charger I've ever used. And of course, you already know, we've got the microfiber cloth over here from Spuds. You know I don't play around. I've got it hooked up to the backpack, so it's always here at all times. Now you might be wondering, where are you keeping all of the chargers for everything? Well, what's great about this backpack is that it's got a dedicated spot for that right here at the bottom. So here's where you keep laptop chargers, HDMI cables, all that kind of stuff that usually takes up a lot of space in the main compartment. You can put them all down here. So that is something I really, really like about this. It's not in the way you don't have to push cables around to get to other stuff. But I've also actually got this one last cool thing, which is this uh, dock for the Nintendo Switch from Insignia. Now we all know that you can dock the Switch to a TV, play on a much bigger screen, play at 1080p. Well, with this, you're gonna be able to take it with you instead of having that huge dock You've got this much smaller one and you still get access to everything. You got a USB port, HDMI, as well as the USB type C port for power. But this is really nice if you're like at a hotel and you wanna be able to play your Switch on that TV. You can just kind of throw it on there and boom, you're gonna be able to play. You've got your HDMI cable over here as well as the power. So you'd be pretty set, especially with your pro controller. I mean, the world is your oyster. You have all the options that you could possibly want right here. And that about wraps it up, guys. This thing can hold a lot. At first, I had my doubts about this backpack, but it's solid. It's a really, really solid backpack. I like it a lot more than I expected. So I definitely think that it works as the ultimate gamer's backpack. So we got a ton of stuff here. What do you guys think? What do you see is missing? Uh, I'm sure people will say you've got too much going on, but if you're trying to create the ultimate gaming backpack, you're gonna wanna be able to do just about everything gaming related. So let me know what you guys think with a comment down below, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.